So according to your file, someone of your kind has never been found before. That's rare in our line of work. Does this one have a name? <laughs> you serious, Dan? Well, that is an interesting name. Well, I think it's time we give you a number. This is Dan Seibert with the SCP Foundation here to assign a number to a small chibi cat-like entity. I believe we should go with 1762. What? Right, uh, let's then assign her the number of 914. Fine, let's go with 207. Then 650. 1499. 173! 5276! Oh, finally. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of that Cyber Channel. I'm Dan Cybert, the official SCP-5277. The numbers go so fast! The SCP Foundation has been around the internet forever. A fully community created foundation that contains, secures, and protects us from all sorts of anomalies. In layman's terms, it's a uh, community written creepypasta, so. Just so we're all on the same page. SCP has been around YouTube since the early days, and yet, I've really only watched Markiplier play Containment Breach. But that all changes today, because we're diving into the world of SCP fan games. Look, I would dive into the case files, but that is a lot of reading, and I ain't got time for reading! Which is why I don't need to worry about that thanks to today's sponsor. Start ad! If you're like me, holding a physical book is one of the most difficult things in your life. For the record, I know how to read a book. Well, instead of holding a book, I can just pop on some headphones and use today's sponsor, Audible, the place where you can have the book slapped into your eardrums. Audible is the leading provider of audiobooks. It's got the largest selection, ranging from bestsellers to business to FNAF. Wait, no, no, no. You get out of this ad. Get. So yeah, you can find FNAF there. When you're an Audible member, you'll get one credit a month you can use on anything in their premium selection. I'm a huge fan of space. Like, space is dope. That's why I'm listening to astrophysics for people in a hurry. Because fun fact, I'm always in a hurry, and audiobooks are the best way for me to enjoy books. Neil deGrasse Tyson, please free me from my Adobe heck. So to join Audible and start listening today, head over to audible.com slash cybert. Or if you're especially bold, you can take out your phone and text cybert to 500-500. That's audible.com slash c-y-b-e-r-t or text cybert to 500 500 come with the voice of neil degrasse tyson slap you in the eardrums and add all right let's talk a bit about our list for today this list is brought to you by our very own cyber channel researcher sam sam uh, file Duh, thanks sam every person i bring on always throws something at me <laughs> Yut. I need to think a little harder about who I asked for help. Well, we took a look at a lot of different games. Some short, well, a lot of short, and some I unfortunately didn't have the time to finish. Our games broke down into universe games, games that cover multiple SCPs, games that cover individual SCPs, and the oddities. So, let's start with the weird ones. And no better way to start than with my favorite beverage. I see no better way to start than with this coffee maker. Most exciting game, huh? Potential action game of the year? I think so. This is the coffee machine. A simple game about a machine that makes coffee and any other liquid you can think of. Using the text bar above, you can get a cup of basically anything you want from coffee to water to lava. Oh yeah, you could die in this game, as one would expect if you drink a cup of lava. Also, that is the most durable styrofoam cup I think I've ever seen. That's really about it with the game. It's a really short experience, but does have some fun fails and effects you can find, like drinking tons of salt water until you go insane. There is a bit more outside the game if you want to get involved. You can engage with the community to add drinks, but that's it. Look, Sam really wanted me to talk about this one. It has coffee. Of course we're gonna discuss it. No, you have the problem! 
Don't worry, sweet prince. I won't let them hurt you. And that right there is a new Cyber Channel Sanity Law speedrun record. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. How about another short game? Let's talk about SCP-3199 Dating Sim. Ugh, I hate it already. This is a short narrative game set in a world where a disease is causing chickens to, quote, melt into puddles of blood and feathers. <sighs> doing this video was a mistake. In order to make the public think this wasn't happening, the SCP Foundation found that SCP-3199 was a good replacement for chicken. That's where you come in. Hating to see SCP-3199 be used by the fast food industry, you decide to head to KFC to take on the disgusting face of Colonel Sanders. No, uh, <laughs> that's the hot one, the other one. No, uh, that one's just as hot. <laughs> Close enough. Inside, you'll find SCP-3199. Oh. Oh, they're weird looking. Okay, but maybe up close is... Ah, never mind, it's terrible. This? I don't want to kiss it. <laughs> this is the worst day. Yeah, this one is. This one's weird. Text isn't much tamer. While you watch the 3199, you save to free the others. You can't help but notice how stunning it is. It's pretty eyes, it's thick body, it's bravery. This is weird, uh, please let people know that I'm the guy that did this. Goodbye. It's definitely meant to shock you into laughter and it uh, may have worked a little too well. Honestly, this game is perfect to read through with a group of friends. Half of the magic is just seeing Jerrica's brain fry. For the views, Jerrica, for the views. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, turn on notifications. I got videos coming out that will break everyone's brain. How about another weird one? Let's talk about do not take your eyes away from the red fridge. I mean, with a title like that, it should be... Why do I always walk into these situations where I immediately eat my words? Oh, right. Do not take your eyes. Okay, this is too long. I'm just calling it Red Fridge. Red Fridge is based on SCP-1731. In this game, you'll need to find a way to escape the evil fridge, all while keeping your eyes on it the best you can. Now, I feel like the intent was to eventually make this a VR game because for some reason, the game keeps launching Steam VR. I mean, they probably couldn't get to the VR aspect because it was made for a game jam, but if I could put in my five cents, make this VR, please and thank you. The game is fairly simple. You need to search through various papers and objects to find clues to stop the fridge. While this seems like simple gameplay, the mechanics kind of make things a little difficult. Everything is done with the mouse, but the thing is you need to move a lot of stuff. You can click to pick up and rotate an object, but when you release, it goes back to where it was. Instead, you need to hold and click in order to move the object, which at first isn't a big deal, but when you're trying to move a bunch of stuff, you'll need to make sure you're clicking and holding, or you'll just be picking it up and then put it back down. Picking it up, and then you put it back down. Hot, hot, heat? Anyone? No? Just me? My old? <laughs> Respect your elders. <laughs> Damn it. It's a short game, but it's a good time. I definitely recommend it, but man, I need this in VR. Our next SCP to tackle is SCP-087. The scariest of all SCPs, stairs. I mean, I say that as a joke, but one, these stairwells exude maximum spoop, and two, I'm always scared of stairs. I am insanely out of shape. <laughs> Jarek and I are trying to get abs. You can follow that journey over on Twitter and Instagram. SCP-087 is a set of never-ending stairs, dimly lit, and that's basically what you get in SCP-087, the game. You walk downstairs. So many stairs. Now, despite the lack of depth in gameplay, the sound design is something else. As you journey downward, you'll hear footsteps, growls, whispers, other spooky noises. I was honestly on edge each step for about 30 floors. I don't know what happened, but I walked all the way down to floor 101 and nothing, nothing happened. Well, some spooky shadows, but it was just kind of spooky. SCP-087-B on the other hand is a different story. SCP-087-B is created by the dev team that did SCP Containment Breach. More on that later. And there is a lot more going on. Rather than the same stairwell over and over again, 087B has a bit more variety. Sure, it has a bit of generic horror maze titus, but again, you have that solid sound design in 
honestly better scarce. Which is better? Well, I think I prefer 087B for the experience, but the original 087 for the sound design. So if you're a fan of creepy stairs, definitely grab these games. I believe humanity can be divided into two sets of people. Those that thrive in Ikea, and those that can't. I'm in that first class, but the wife, not so much. Hey Alyssa, what are your thoughts on Ikea? I hate Ikea. First of all, when you go, you can't even find parking. Then when you park, it takes freaking a mile long walk to get to the elevator to even enter the building. And then once you get in there, you can't find- It goes on like this until we need a coffee table. Oh, we should go. No, one. no, wait! Well, the team over at Thamel Games, totally botched it, developed a game based on SCP-3008, a never-ending IKEA knockoff where you need to find the one door to escape. Minecraft, Rust, The Forest, and all these crafting games have been blowing up over this last year. SCP-3008 can be added into that list as well. Honestly, if and when they add multiplayer to this, you know we're playing it on stream. Twitch.tv slash that cyber channel. Go follow. We're going to be doing a 12 to 24 hour stream soon so I hope I'll see you there. SCP-3008 requires you to survive multiple days in the IKEA to try to find a way out, all while avoiding staff who have a bad case of the Mondays. <laughs> You survive by scavenging for food at the cafeteria, moving furniture to build a base, and craft weapons and traps to fend off the staff, which means you're gonna be punching some furniture, baby. I freaking love this game, and I say that even though the Patreon version I played initially was definitely bugged. I couldn't equip any weapons. It made me sad. Fortunately, the free version seems to be working. A little frame rate issue, but not bad. While this game is still very early in development, you definitely see the potential. That being said, it's hard to tell what the difficulty is going to be like. In order to craft items, you need to find recipes. In the free version, it was super easy to find multiple blueprints on the ground. In the Patreon version, you have to search shelves, cabinets, etc., and the drop rate is really low. And again, it's in early development, so who knows what it'll look like when the full game releases. I'm definitely keeping an eye on this game. It scratches that crafting game itch, and the nights can be really tense and spoopy if you're not prepared. Check out the game in the description. I think you'll really enjoy it. And if you're one of those that can't thrive in an IKEA, it's definitely spoopy. So Alyssa, what'd you think of that gameplay? That is my personal hell. That is my own, my very own nightmare fuel. Mm -hmm. That game is exactly how And I think now she's forgot about that coffee table. I did not. Let us go. No! It's time to expand our brains and start talking about the games that cover larger parts of the SCP universe. I mean, if you want the full universe, you got to read thousands of entries. And uh, I have no idea how anyone has time for that. <laughs> Our first game in the greater universe is SCP Foundation, a 2D side-scrolling game where you explore an SCP lab that has fallen apart. This game definitely caught my attention because just look at this art style. That's some good pixel art. Again, this game is still in early access, but you can tell there's already a lot of depth to it. Each lab is procedurally generated, so no two layouts are the same. And it is large. I had a bit of a system that helped me navigate, but that's when we get into a bit of a problem. See, I saw a few lights plays of people playing the game and it looks great however once i finally got to a room that had a triggered event i um i fell through the floor i uninstalled reinstalled deleted caches i did everything i could to fix it but every time dance through the floor. The game is super buggy but i'll give it the benefit of a doubt because there's definitely potential in this game now, sometimes you just want to get the gang together and try to murder each other as SCP monsters. Boom, SCP Secret Laboratory is here to help. Secret Laboratory is a multiplayer game where you play as class D employees or D-boy, D-boy, D-boy. Scientists, various armed teams, or SCPs themselves. <gasps> I'm a spoopy boy. Each group has their own win conditions from escape out alive to kill everyone. Each role is randomly assigned as well as what SCPs the others will be playing as. When we streamed it, I gotta be SCP-173, or as we like to call them, yeah. Now, just because you're human doesn't mean you're on the same side. Test subjects must be killed by guards at some point in order to win. It leads to some interesting alliances where you may work with the guards in the beginning, but use them as bait to escape. And SCPs 
just get to snap some nexes. This is a very nice stream. <gasps> I'm not. Are you in yet? This was a game we played on stream and it was pretty fun. I do think it's a game that benefits from a full lobby as opposed to a small group. If you're a fan of SCP and have a group of friends that are as well, this is a perfect game for you. Though, keep in mind someone will have to host a server or rent a server. We have one set up for a month as of the release of this video, so join our Discord and play with the community until my debit card is ripped away. Now it's time to talk about the game everyone thinks about when they think SCP games. Let's tackle the beast that is SCP Containment Breach. This is a game that I've only watched people play, but getting a chance to experience it firsthand really is something else. SCP Containment Breach takes place at an underground SCP facility where you play as a D boy, D boy, D boy. While undergoing an experiment, the facility suffers a catastrophic event that releases nearly all the SCPs in the facility. With all the SCPs out and about, you must find your way to get out of the facility before you're killed. <laughs> You're on thin ice, Jeebs. Thin ice. <laughs> now let's address something really quick here before we move on. When you boot up the game, it's very clear it's working on a very old engine. The game was released in 2012 and RTX on wasn't even a thing. So the graphics are a bit dated, but that's all right because the game is all about the tension and gameplay. A good chunk of the fan games we've talked about definitely found their roots with this game. So expect a randomly generated facility that you need to navigate through to find the exit. Throughout your escape, you'll be attacked at random times by deadly SCPs, including Nyut. Evading each enemy can be tricky depending on when they attack you, such as the Plague Doctor sitting outside a room where I was trapped in, so I died. Jerrica, you can show a death now. Just do it. I hope you enjoyed that. Though the best part of this game is definitely the SCPs and the many, many ways they can mess with you. Like a book about human diseases that infects you with whatever disease you read. Or this unfinished sheep music that drives a person insane to the point where they try to finish the piece with their own blood. I mean, that's basically my editing workflow. I'm on my hundredth life. This game is jam packed with SCPs, which means you should be saving a lot. Interacting with any object could mean death and you don't wanna have to run around just to get back to the place where the SCP killed you. Now, as we mentioned, the game is definitely old, but recently a few different recreations have popped up. There's one in the Unreal Engine, a Unity one, which we played on stream that is unfortunately canceled. There's also SCP Blackout that looks like it has a very similar feel, but with VR support, if you wanna see it on stream. Smack that like button down below and uh, write in the comments, um, Zuko plays with the loudest of toys. However, if you want the full containment breach experience, you can still grab this game. Just expect a little trial and error to get it running. It does not like 4K, just as a heads up. The Nyet is too powerful. This was just my first dive into SCP fan games and I gotta say, I freaking loved it. I've only scratched the surface of Containment Breach, but might be finishing it in my free time. Not only that, I still have a huge list of SCP fan games I didn't get to talk about. And the fan games cover just about everything. Well, like this one, SCP The Endurance, which is SCP, but... A FNAF fan game. Well, better talk about the Doom Eternal DLC. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. A huge thanks to Jerrica for her editing help, Sam Sam for her research, Eve from reading from the SCP love story, and Alyssa be crazy for her camera work. Then a special thanks to Q, Rhea Sunshine, and all these channel members. You can become a channel member down below by just clicking that join button. Now, it's time for me to finally talk about Doom expansions and DLC. So until next time, Cybered out.